Why, hello there. My name is Christopher J. Morris, and we are back to playing The Novelist. Uh, I'm not... I forget where we left off. This is uh, may just be a, a short jump from episode to episode for you, uh, but it's actually been several hours for me. I went to bed. I've woken up. Uh, it's probably a short episode because I have to pee. Uh, and let's, uh, let's get right back into it. I think uh, where we left off, uh, Linda... Her parents had just been here, and the uh, yeah, we're starting on this new chapter vacation. Uh, so let's see, let's see what we can do. I think, I think this time around, I mean, we've we've done Linda and Tommy, we've done their solutions four times straight now, and Dan hasn't had any since since then. So I think. You know, we have to be we have to be somewhat fair and let and let Dan oops uh get his in at least at Anne, least once. What's the latest with you? I hope you're doing better than I am. I'm going a little stir crazy. Dan loves it here, but he's just riding all day long, so he could be anywhere. I could use a change of scenery. I've walked every trail in the woods and even started a few of my own. It's great getting away from the city, but I wouldn't exactly call this roughing it. Tommy's certainly having a good time exploring the woods. Sometimes we go together, and if I'm in the studio, he knows he can play outside where I can see him, and to stay away from the cliff. Do you remember when we were kids trying to jump the creek in the woods behind the house? I think Tommy's getting into that phase now, climbing trees and all that. Oops, <laughs> I got a little carried away there. You probably don't need to hear about all of our outdoor adventures. Sorry about that. Well, let me know how you're doing. Love, Linda. All right, so they... They seem content. Yeah, content enough, anyway. Fine. All right. Still nothing happening in the bathroom. And... Uh, a little notebook here. Three days in, I'm still trying to figure out where to take the new piece. It's changing as I go, which is always exciting and sort of the point, but this one feels a little aimless. I keep snapping out of a daze and realizing I've been staring out the window for five minutes instead of working. When we first got here, I was excited to have a studio with so many windows and so much natural light. But now it feels almost like a cage. Why be this close to nature but not be, well, in it? Go Actually, outside. cage isn't the right word. This place is beautiful, and there are so many more trees than back home. I guess it's more of a reminder when it's right there the whole time, not just an idea or something for the weekend. Anyway, back to the painting. I'm not going to get anything done on it sitting here writing. Be writing more than Dan is. Let's see what Danimal is up to today. It's Tommy. Oh, look at that. See, happy pictures. Happy pictures are good. But, look at all this garbage. Can't be good. Penny, thanks so much for your letter. It made my day. Tramer's Way came out a while ago now, so I don't get letters like this too often. Writing can be a pretty isolating profession at times, which makes it a big boost to hear that someone out there is getting something from my work. Your support means the world to me. To answer your question, I'm indeed in the midst of writing a new book. I don't have a title or a release date yet, but I'm plugging away on it slowly but surely. I plan to finish it by the end of summer, and I truly hope you enjoy it when it comes out. Thanks again for your kind words, Dan Kaplan. Hey, things seem to be on the up and up for the Kaplans here. Let's go into uh, your memory, Dan. Uh, hmm. Ooh, it's a rocket now. I can't touch the rocket. There we go. You know, it could always be better. How was work? Backwards conversations for days as the toaster. Toaster has nothing to say. And should be one more memory in here. Where is it going to be? There it is. 
And as for last weekend, I can't stop wondering what kind of advice Tynan would have had for Act 2. It's still a mess. I tried to work on it, but it was impossible to get anything done with so much going on. Although I guess I did flex a little creativity, I came up with an impressive number of errands to run just to get out of the house. <laughs> All right. That's, that's all that memory he's got to offer. Don't worry, Dan. Is that not a memory now? Guess not. Blast off! He's got London now. We're in the house. Ian, what's oh, no. I already read that. <laughs> I'm going out for a hike. That must be up here. Seems like she's calling up here. Okay, be okay. safe. Be safe. game is a lot of, like, hide and seek. <laughs> Seems to be a lot of what you're doing most of the time. Waiting for the day something's gonna be in the bathroom. There we go. I should have known. Mom and Dad left this morning, and I'll never have to wear that sweater again. It's not just ugly, it's hot and itchy. And the why do you ask trick completely worked. I don't think I've ever seen Dad. I don't know what else to call it. He blushed. That made the trip worth it. Although seeing that Mom and Dad are doing well was great too. Maybe Dan and I will end up that happy down the road. Yeah, but I got to do something to pay the bills with Dan. Just gotta get that book done. All right, let's exit. Hi, Mom. I'm faster. Home to a stunning display of natural beauty, Achoco National Forest is a perfect destination for hunters, wilderness enthusiasts, and weekend campers alike. One of a kind rock formations provide exciting challenges for climbers. The many canyons offer scenic hiking experiences, and the swimming opportunities are many. Located less than five hours from Portland and less than six from the central coast, Ochoco is perfect for a summer getaway. For more information or to request a brochure, please call the ranger station at 8675309 and ask for Jenny. Ah, there's something on the fridge. I think this is the first time we've ever interacted with the fridge. Last off at Booster Bay, come enjoy all the excitement of Booster Bay this weekend. We have a very special discount for all the young astronauts out there. 
Children under the age of 12 who bring their official Booster Bay Astro Jet get free admission to the park. Take a flight to remember on our world-famous rocket coaster. Explore the inner workings of three model spacecraft in our educational city in the sky. Treat yourself to burgers, ice cream, cosmic cotton candy, and more in the food court of the future. There's never been a better time to visit Booster Bay, and you can't beat the price, which is free. Ah, I gotta read Tommy's thoughts now. Clearly he is going to want to do this thing. You bet. <laughs> so her, her camping pack. It's not her camping pack. Where is her camping pack? It's usually in here. Stop moving it around. Three days in, I'm still. No, 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 no. We've already done that too. I'm not gonna select. We selected Linda's last time. I would like to select Tommy's. That sounds fun. We do need to find what Dan's is, so. What is Dan's? Where'd you go, Dan? Can't be leaving on me in the middle of reading your memory notes. Dan! Here we go. Three days is... Keep firewood inside there. There it is. Oh, so we're at a crossroads. The, the rocket thing sounds fun, and Tommy, you know, he uh, he hasn't had any. Oh, um, you know, it, it would normally be his turn because I've been doing the Tommy Linda, Tommy Linda thing. But you know, Dan does have to get this book done. I mean, if. If we're going to stay together as a family and have the money to do it, then there are some sacrifices that are going to have to be made. It's a tough decision. This game, this game, I don't think I don't think it, think it teaches a very good moral. And I think that it basically says, oh, well, you know, no matter how hard you try, you know, something's gonna suck. And I don't think that's necessarily true. Uh, hey, honey. Hey, mommy. So let's. I mean, we gotta give Dan his thing at least once. I mean, you know what's what's the worst that could happen? <sighs> you know, plus where it's family time. I'm assuming he's taking the entire family, right? That's. I mean, he just got the letter. He needs to. He needs the motivation to get back in, so let's let's see if we can 
accomplish that. And still... Keep the family happy. What's this? More Diaries of Claire Bradford from September 8th, which is my birthday, 1961. Uh, I still don't know what the whole Claire Bradford thing is, and if you find out, you let me know. Um, I don't really care much for this side story. Uh, unless this is the book I'm... Is this the book I'm writing? I don't know. Yeah, see, Dan, Dan needs it every now and then. Oh no, she twisted her ankle. Well, that's that's not Dan's fault. You're next, Tommy. <laughs> In essence, this is the game about disappointing your family. It's it's actually very it, it hits very close to home for me because you know as you know, I have a wife and son, I have two stepdaughters. And, you know, it's uh, it's hard to please everybody. You know, you you do make sacrifices uh, in order to sort of give everybody what they want, and um, you know, you do you do take. Uh, some sacrifices in the in the meantime, but um, I don't I don't. This game basically teaches you that you know if uh, if you do one thing, you're going to disappoint two other people, and I, I don't think that's necessarily true. Um, maybe this game doesn't really teach you anything at all. You know, I mean, it's just it's a game, uh, but it does does make you feel very guilty. This game is a, a an exercise in guilt. Something over here on the table too. Let's take a look at it. And I just got off the phone with mom. She told me about Grandma Joe. I know we expected it sooner rather than later, but this is hitting me so much harder than when Granddad died last year. Do you remember going to Grandma Joe's house after school on Wednesdays and playing until mom got off work? How Grandma Joe always had a surprise for us, even if it was just cookies in the oven. She'd always time it so the whole house would smell like them when we got there. I hope the minister captures those little moments because they don't seem as little now. I wish the circumstances were different, but it will still be good to see you at the funeral. What am I saying? You probably won't even get this until after the funeral. I guess I just needed to write anyway. Love, Linda. Oh, we might have to... We might have to do something for Linda here. I think that's, uh, that's <laughs> sort of, uh... Dan, big news! Got a call from Bracket Books and Eugene. They want you to do a reading from Windsor. Maybe even some Q&A, some book signings, all that good stuff. I think you should do it. In fact, I'm going to be pretty pissed if you don't. Bracket is a big outlet. So if this goes well, orders for the new book will definitely go up. I don't need to remind you how long it's been since Tramer's Way came out. If you don't keep your name out there, no one will even notice when you finish the new book, whatever it's called. Now, speaking of the new one, why don't you read some of it, too? Maybe the second chapter you sent me last month. That one was pretty good. Bracket Books, Eugene the 21st. See you there. 
football. P.S. You know the law game, right? Nailing this one could mean a bigger advance on the next book. See, here's a here's the thing about this, right? This is uh, this book launch. It, before I was saying, you know, uh, Dan is just a writer, uh, and he could really, you know, he could not write <laughs> and do something else. But you know, if if Dan can nail this book, and he's only, only spending three months here, uh, it makes you feel like you're disappointing these people over the entire course. Just be here for me. Lynn, I'm so sorry. Tell me what I can do. That's a rough one, though. That's... I mean, when it comes down to it... I think Linda's got the most... <laughs> even though she only had her turn, and Tommy hasn't even had a turn, and this will make three if I do Linda again. But, uh... I could tell Linda and Tommy were disappointed, but I wouldn't have been any fun on vacation anyway. Too stressed about getting to the finish line. I did try to have a little fun with the bonfire, which could have been described as roaring for a good 30-minute period anyway. Getting out of the house turned out to be a good idea, too. Spending the night on the beach reminded me of a church retreat we did back in seventh grade. The smell of the bonfire gave me such a strong memory of a crush I had on Jenny something. Or was it Jennifer? I can't remember. But I do remember those flushed schoolboy emotions. I think I can use those for the scene at the dance. The scene at the dance. Uh, that was it. Next morning. Hey. Hey, my man. Is she in heaven? I'm sure she is, honey. I mean, I know that this book signing is, is a big thing, but I, I don't think anybody can really... Uh, ...criticize the excuse. <clears throat> that, uh, you know, Linda's grandma died, so, I mean, that's... We've got to go with Linda. Hey, look. Nice. So much for Ochoco. I wish I hadn't done so much research to find sites and trails, because now I keep catching myself daydreaming about them instead of working. I still need to get out of the house. I've done the Ridge Trail probably 15 times now. It hardly seems worth it anymore. Finding new spots is half the point. I guess tomorrow I'll check in town and see if there's a local guidebook or ranger office. Maybe there's something I haven't found yet. Something nearby is still better than nothing. All right, now uh, clues, clues in the house. Nothing in the bathroom. Nothing ever in the bathroom. And I don't know. always end up reading the same thing man like three times. I don't know.
I walked out to the bluff to remember Grandma Jo and say goodbye. And on the way back, I started thinking about what it really means to have a family, to make that your focus. She seemed to take such joy in being surrounded by her family, providing for them, taking care of them. I hope I never took that for granted. When I got back to the house, a question hit me that I can't get out of my head. What will Tommy think about Dan and me when he gets older? And what if Tommy has kids of his own? I can't even begin to think of myself as a grandmother. I haven't even been a mother for that long and I'm still feeling my way through what it means to be a good one. At least I'll always have an example. I miss you, Grandma Jo, and I'll never forget you. I promise. I hope her solution has Oh, what if I... She, she wants me to come to the funeral. Uh, I mean, Dan, she wants Dan to come to the funeral. I'm the ghost. I keep saying that I'm Dan. Uh, you know, uh, mostly because I, you know, I am in my family situation. Obviously, I'm the father and husband. So I guess uh, I'm, I relate to Dan more. Uh, so I'm, I'm usually saying I'm Dan. And plus, I guess the game is technically about Dan. Uh... Yeah, no, it's Tommy. Oh, this is brutal. This game is brutal. Oh, I don't, I don't oh. think so, buddy. I assume she made the telephone. Right? What was... Oh, oh I gotta read Tommy's thoughts. Well, you know, happy life is a happy wife. Or the other way around. <laughs> you can say it both ways, really. Heck, they say everything interchangeably backwards in this game. Why not? Let's, we're going to pick lemons. Uh, I think it's important. We're gonna end here now. Uh, it's night. Kaplan House. Everybody's asleep. We're gonna see that the outcome of picking Linda, not picking Tommy, and having picked Dan before this, this would end up making three solutions that Tommy hasn't been picked. So we really need to get to him next. But until the next episode, this is Christopher J. Moore saying, "Game on."